After seven years of intense political debates, environmental studies, a successful design-build process, and after overcoming some challenges, the new Tacoma Narrows Bridge opened to traffic on July 16, 2007, providing valuable evidence for one of its original purposes of improving driver safety and alleviating the traffic congestion through the busy SR-16 corridor, where backups would last for hours. Built right alongside of the existing 1950 Tacoma Narrows Bridge, the new Tacoma Narrows Bridge is the first major suspension bridge constructed in the U.S. since 1964. While the design-build contract has a value of $620 million, the labor and material statistics are staggering, making the new Tacoma Narrows Bridge a true mega-project. The scope of work on the new bridge involved construction of massive caissons requiring more than 30,000 cubic yards of concrete, while the suspension system required 5,500 tons over 10,000 miles of steel wire. Each tower, over 510 feet tall, required 8,500 cubic yards of concrete and nearly 2.5 million pounds of reinforcing steel to construct. And all these elements have to work in perfect balance and harmony to support the roadway, which tips the scale right around 53 million pounds. Not only was the four-lane bridge designed to handle 120,000 vehicles a day, it was also engineered to include many new safety features, such as a 10-foot shoulder, a high-occupancy vehicle traffic lane, a bicycle pedestrian walkway, and foundations and towers that could take a future secondary underdeck roadway or light rail. Also, having two bridges provided additional safety measures by separating the eastbound and westbound traffic. In this Tacoma Narrows project documentary, we illustrate how the team on this massive construction project solved many challenges along the way and how, with ingenuity, planning, strength, and best of all, teamwork, Tacoma Narrows constructors successfully responded to the request for a new bridge. As a result, the new Tacoma Narrows Bridge has quickly set a new benchmark of excellence for public works projects in Washington State. In order to complete such a large and demanding civil project, WashDOT turned to Tacoma Narrows Constructors, a joint venture between Bechtel and Kiewit to complete the $800 million new Narrows Bridge. TNC was selected based on their world-renowned legacy of the partnering companies successfully completing challenging civil projects in some of the harshest and most demanding environments, on budget and on time. With significant penalties for missing the aggressive construction schedule, this was no deadline the company wanted to miss. Rising to the challenge in September 2002 with a notice to proceed in their hands, Tacoma Narrows Constructors became WashDOT's ultimate design-build dream team. The TNC team was comprised of industry-leading experts including engineers, project managers, superintendents, and skilled craft. And these are no ordinary individuals. Each person was hand-picked from around the world and from among the best in each partner company to lend their talents for a job that requires every man and woman to defy gravity, think on their feet, and above all, be able to withstand some of the harshest marine and weather environments in the Pacific Northwest. Though Bechtel and Kiewit have been competitors in the past, the team made sure that nothing stood in their way from acting as a seamless, integrated team looking for every opportunity to deliver a successful project. Tacoma Narrows Constructors is a joint venture of two very large companies that in appearance, in the outside, they look different, but at the end of the day, they are very similar, similar in their values and in the way they perform their work. Integrity and all those things that come along with being a great company. So putting together those, those two entities and working with them for me was a great experience. We were really lucky to obtain TNC as a partner on this. We had both Bechtel and Kiewit. Uh, from the beginning, they, had, they were able to bring worldwide leadership into this project and expertise. Uh, both in obtaining subcontractors as well as the engineers that they had. They were able to end, lend us the engineering expertise, in a lot of cases public education videos and drawings which they provided, as well as providing staff experts to us when we had public outreach meetings. I think it was a terrific merger from the beginning. In fact, if you came on the job site during the heavy duty stages of construction, you really couldn't tell who was back to who was Kiwit. It was a true joint venture. And that came from the top down. Uh, senior management really pushed that. And you know, 
we didn't wear Bechtel hard hats, they didn't wear Keywood hard hats. We were all working for Tacoma and Aeros Constructors. They brought a lot to the table, a lot of different construction ideas to the table, and we brought a lot of different ideas to the table. And it was really good to kind of sit back and watch that marriage come together and learn off each other. One of the things that we did together in the beginning was to align and partner in such a way that we were both committed to the success of the job. So instead of looking or for opportunities to criticize each other, we were truly committed to look for opportunities to succeed. And we really understood what the success of each one meant to the other. Everything that we've done on this project was a, an opportunity to learn how to bring two different companies' uh, tools and processes together. Um, the real challenge is, is not that there's a right or wrong answer, it's to figure out how to make things work for the team. Uh, and get to the result we wanted. And, and I think we were successful. We worked well together. Uh, the expertise and management that they brought to this project um, was one of a kind. And it was a great work experience from beginning to end. We wanted to make sure that everybody was successful around the building of this project, from the owner to the public to the contractor. And we worked hard to achieve that. This project significantly increases safety along the SR-16 corridor by separating oncoming traffic, adding safety shoulders, and providing a barrier-separated bicycle-pedestrian path across the new bridge. We had 3.3 million an hours working on this bridge combined between the contractor and the owner. Uh, we had no significant injuries, which was we were ecstatic about. And the, the safety program that TNC brought to the state really impress us as an agency to the point where we've emulated their safety program and instituted it statewide. So that's a lesson that we as an agency garnered from TNC. With the addition of the new bridge, the need for emergency and state patrol resources is greatly reduced since head-on collisions and frequent accidents become a thing of the past. The state's limited resources can now be used to provide better protection for the local community. Prior to this bridge being built, the State Patrol uh, utilized an awful lot of people out here that had to come out this way from the Tacoma Freeway area, covering collisions, covering backup, and getting tied up in the backup themselves and at the collision scenes. With the opening of the bridge, the Washington State Patrol has seen a lessening of effect on the Tacoma Freeway troopers that work that area. We have troopers stationed out in this area now in the Gig Harbor area that respond to bridge incidents and their workload is not as substantial as it was when we just had the one bridge. Not only was the single bridge crossing configuration a problem for state resources, there were many times when people missed flights, were late for school, baseball games and family gatherings, let alone the amount of fuel wasted sitting in traffic for hours, not to mention the negative impact on the environment. 